coming back to 4,000, 8,000 blinds, about tree fitty chips. Looked at our table draw, don't recognize any of the names, but there's a few guys with around 350,000 also. So our plan is to three bet them relentlessly, put them in a tough spot to leverage their whole stack pre and post flop. Hopefully they don't have it, or I do. You know, it's all about timing. But that's the general plan. We're not afraid to bubble. We want to have all the chips in the end, and we're going to have to take some risks to get there. So let's stay focused and uh, win the tournament today. Looking at $68,000 for first, I believe. 150 some remain, 117 pay. If I make the top three or chop for top three money, I will be giving away five one hour packages, personalized MTT or crypto coaching, your choice. Thank you for all the comments in the previous video. For best female comment, the winner is very Josie, congratulations. My next five favorite comments are Comment below with your email address so I can get a hold of you and we'll arrange a time that works for both of us. How's the hair looking? With blinds at four and eight thousand. Middle position limps for 8,000. Action folds to us in the cutoff. We have two black fours, so we raise it up to 27,000. The button calls and the limper calls. The flop comes ace, six, four, two diamonds. Action checks, we bet 35,000. The button calls. The limper goes into the tank and raises to 85,000. 50,000 more. What's he wrapping here? Pocket sixes? Aces? Ace six, ace four? Combo draw? We could flat, but I wanna put in the little irritant raise to isolate in position and put more bluffs in my range. If we just call, we can't really be bluffing in a three-way pot. But if I put in a small raise, it's very possible. We make it 162,000, which is, I believe, 77,000 more. Just over a min raise. Button folds. Limper goes into the tank again and shoves all in. We snap call and he shows. Ace, eight of spades. The turn is a deuce of diamonds and the river is a jack. We win a huge pot and we now have 900,000 chips sitting real pretty, approaching the money bubble.
Congratulations. We are at 117 We are breaking the table, so please hold just a moment. Congratulations. We are in the lane. The money bubble did not last long. We didn't even get a hand for hand, which was very disappointing after chipping up to 1.1 million. Blinds are now 8,000, 16,000. We've been very active, playing over 50% of hands, eight and nine handed. Action folds us in the cutoff. We have king, queen of clubs. So of course we raise it to 35,000. Action folds the big blind who makes it 100,000 with a 360,000 stack. When playing this aggressively, it's a tough balancing act. Knowing when people are fed up with your aggression and they're gonna make a move or if they're just going to wait and play play their cards. So in general, you want to lower your starting hand and reshoving requirements based upon their more likeliness of playing back at you. So with king, queen of clubs, I think this hand's a little bit too good to fold. Flatting's okay, but he'll have just about a little more than a pot size bet left. We can fold out his bluffs and deny all his equity with his ace axes, small pairs, if we shove now, we're all in. He calls, he has pocket jacks. The flop comes king, king six. The turn is a queen and he's drawn dead. The river doesn't even matter. And we now have 1.3 million chips. With blinds at 12,000, 24,000, 4,000 ante, under the gun limps off a 500k stack, middle position limps, folds to us in the small blind and we look down at ace queen offsuit. Great spot to raise it up so we make it 130,000. Big blind folds, under the gun folds, limper jams all in for 290,000. Strange line but of course we're calling. Put him on a small pair, he happens to have pocket tens. We're racing, the flop comes jack, nine, nine. The turn is a six, and the river is a three. We lose a 650,000 chip pot, putting us at 900,000 chips. Blinds are still 12,000, 24,000. We have 800,000 in the big blind. Action folds to the small blind, who is a viewer of the vlog. He's given us walks before saying he doesn't want to play with us. So this time he makes it 90,000. A big raise out of the small blind, but let's see what we got. We look down at ace king offsuit. Perfect spot to three bet. About one third of my stack. Make it look like I might fold to a jam, but I'm really inducing action. 275,000 is the bet. I have 525,000 behind. He tanks and eventually puts in this call. Okay, what does he got? Small pair, ace jack, ace queen. He wants to see a flop out of position, good luck. The flop comes, nine, eight, eight, rainbow. He quickly bets out 200,000. What is he repping here? Nine, 10, pocket sevens, jack 10. Not sure, but I really don't care. I'm not just going to fold to 200,000. We're all in. 525,000. He goes into the tank again. He says, I have so many outs. There's a lot of money out there. And he puts in the call. He shows queen 10 of hearts. Let's hold. The turn is the three of clubs. And the river is the jack of clubs giving him the straight and a $1.6 million pot. And we are out in 50, first place, $1,121. We lost money on this tournament after this epic run, being in for 1,600. No pleasure, all pain. This is the life of MTTs in Las Vegas. Hopes were high, crushed after repeated flips lost and aggression not being paid off. I do it all the same.
if I were to do it again, so no regrets. I was unable to top three or chop this tournament. For those five lucky commenters, I'm offering 15 minutes each coaching over the phone. If you want it, comment below with your phone number or email address. I'll get a hold of you. We'll set it up and make it happen. Thanks again for participating. Hopefully we have better luck next time. Make sure you sign up on America's Card Room using bonus code BOSKI. And buy your disregard females. Acquire Crypto t-shirt today in the Big Frog store. The links are below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we're out.